Okie smoky. <laughs> Okie okay. dokie smoky. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't believe it was raining again today. Oh, yeah, God. tell me about you know, it. The plants are all yellow. There, there's too much uh, moisture. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. Are we alive? Oh, we are alive. However, we oh. are waiting for people to join us. Okay, I, I can't get used to that. I know, you have to hang on for, you have to be patient. Oh, you have to like, okay. Oh, oh well, I, yeah, patience is a virtue. So, let's oh, see. Oh, look, they're all, here they come, here they come. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Kathy. How are you? Kathy Dumas, how are you? Diane Jones, hello. Louise Makamanich. Makamanich? Hello, Louise. Hello, Linda. How are you? Linda Literal. I'm sure I'm butchering these names, you guys, but hey, that's okay. Ah, uh, my girlfriend, Terry Maroney Boos, Bows. Always get it wrong, Terry. How are you? Hello, Robin. Hi, Deb. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, Guadalupe, hello. How are you? Josie, hello. I guess we're live then. We've got some oh, comments okay. popping up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Diane Jones says, hello, Grandma Jean. How are you? Hi there. Hi, Judy. Thank you for all those hearts. Thank you so much. Hi, Sharon. Sharon Nichols, how are you? Hi, Karen. Let's see who we have. Uh, Linda Lee Zimmer. Oh, that's cute. She's Yeah, has a nice ring to it. Linda yes, Lee. Yes, it does. She spells hers L-E-E, -E, mm -hmm. and I spell mine L-E-I-G-H. Right. Hi, uh, Sandra from Nebraska. How are you? Wow, way out there. Yeah. Hi, Pam. Let's see who else we have. Cheryl. Hello, Cheryl. Hello, Linda. We have lots of viewers. Oh, yes. Oh, from sunny California. Oh, oh Julie. The Julie. Sun. Oh, sunny California. So, okay, so here's, the, here's today's deal. Um, it was beautiful today. It was sunny all morning, all day it was sunny. Yeah. And hi, Tammy Rice, how are you? It was sunny. Um, I took part of this craft outside because I was using, um, what was I using? Food coloring. I was using food coloring. I had my crafts in the sun drying, you know, all <laughs> happy about all that, trying to pull everything together, busy, busy. Told my daughter, get out of the house. It's a beautiful day. Go on a picnic with your boyfriend. They literally walked out the door. <laughs> they literally walked out the door. <laughs> And it started pouring. I, I oh, it did it come I down? I felt horrible. <laughs> oh, <laughs> because it... I said, "Here, take a blanket, go to the park, have a picnic. <laughs> it's a beautiful sunny day. Get some uh, natural vitamin D." And I, I wasn't paying attention. I knew they left the house, but it was and, sunny. I know. And then I literally like looked out the window. Two minutes after they left, because I could still hear the car in the driveway, thinking, "Why are they still sitting there?" I look. Pouring but, and buckets. It, poured. it actually poured. Oh, Mary from Phoenix, Arizona says it's hot, hot, hot. Oh, I love it. I love it. I, I, I'm telling you so. I'm, I'm sure I'll hear a little bit about sending them out for a picnic <laughs> in the rain when, when they get home. But hi, my friend Marissa. How are you? I know, Marissa. It did stop now. Thank goodness. Right? But like it just rained enough to ruin... Picnic plans to ruin my part of my um, part of my craft for today. I didn't get ruined, but uh, oh, we'll, come we'll, on. What we'll put heck? a disclaimer in there. But and now it's sunny out again. So, okay. hello, Diane from South Carolina. How are you? Oh, nice. Oh, let's. See. Oh, Janet, you're at the beach in Florida. Nice. Oh, oh, the beach. I love the beach. I'm jealous. And Linda says it's very humid in Massachusetts. Here Julie, too. well, we sure could use that rain, but our weather is perfect here. Our city sign says "Weather Best by Government Test." Oh, oh that's, that's cool. Oh yeah. Where hey, Julie. From? I don't know where. I forget where Julie is from. Okay, so Grandma Jean and I thought we would solve. Solve a few of your problems. <laughs> oh, we're going to solve a few problems today on, on Friday. Fabulous Friday. But not really. Not not any problems. Um, okay, we made these the other day on our live. We made these cute little bucket hat gnomes the other day on our live. If you missed it, you can go back and, and rewatch it if you'd like. But 
Everybody loved <clears throat> the bucket hats. Oh, we had this pretty bee one. We had one with lemons. So I did get them at Dollar Tree. And I said, you know what? Uh, you could get a bucket hat almost anywhere. Maybe even at your drugstore, your thrift shop. I've bought them there before for projects. And yes, Marissa, I'm so excited that you finally caught us live. Um, so... So, okay, but a few people were mentioning they couldn't find the bucket hat and they were disappointed, disappointed, disappointed. So, Grandma said, Lee, like, we can't disappoint them. So, no, figure no, something not... out. Lee, figure something out. And so, okay, this is what did. we figured out um, in case you can find any of these type of hats. So, if you have any of the floppy straw hats from the Dollar Tree, now I cut this one in half. And again, you might have a floppy hat sitting at home. You might have a bucket hat sitting at home. You might be able to find a, a floppy hat at your thrift store. But if you find one of the floppy hats, these are from the Dollar Tree, you still might have one. This was a child. That, that's is, a pretty that's color. That's a pretty color. Yes. Um, it's smaller, though. This one oh. was twice the size. Oh. And I already cut it in half. So, you can't find the bucket hat. That's okay. Maybe you can find one of these straw hats. And if you find one of the straw hats... We're going to do something oh, very, very cute? similar. We're still working on our lighting here at Noman Backyard. We move them all around. Oh, no, it looks good. I, it's too, it's a little too bright sometimes, but. Well, it's better. It's, yeah. Better it's to see a you, little with hard, my dear. A little hard to see, but anyway, we used a straw hat. How absolutely sweet is this? Oh, that's We used adorable. a different type of uh, beard that I'll show you. And then I'm loving his nose. It's a painted ping pong ball. I really, really, really am loving the nose. I just think it's so cute how it's hidden underneath the brim of the hat. We added a few flowers. So don't be upset if you can't find that bucket hat. Look how cute the uh, straw hat works. Straw hat it's works adorable. just the same. Looks really sweet. Loving that ping pong nose right there. So Okay, this is what we did for this cutie pie. What kind of a nose did he have? It's a ping pong ball. Oh. It's just one of our ping pong balls you can oh, get from and the and Dollar did Tree. Do? Just... I painted it because they oh. come they come white. I don't like to use a white nose. If you choose to use a ping pong ball, all you're going to do, let's see, uh, Cindy Williams says, absolutely love your beautiful spirit. Oh, Cindy, thank you so much. She said that to both of us. Oh, of course. If you're going to paint your white ping pong ball, just stick a toothpick in the end of it like this. So when you're painting it, you know, hands-free, you paint it, you don't get your fingers all dirty. Right, right. And then you could actually, well, you could stick it in something like I did like this to dry to get it out of the way. Oh, that's um, cute. I like that I, nose. I like the ping pong nose. Yes. Normally we use a bead. We, we like to use wooden beads a lot of the time, but... Um, I, oh, I like the I pink love that. Yes. I really like it for this one. I really and think it came out very nice. It came out cute. You guys can't see. I painted it with my cashew Waverly chalk paint. Oh, this lighting. There you go. Painted it with my cashew Waverly chalk paint to turn it from white into this pretty, uh, pretty cashew color. So, okay. We told them about the nose already. We already jumped in. I, li I like the beard too. Oh, there's a bug. What did they make the beard on? Okay, hold, oh, hold on. Now, hold oh, on. okay. Hold on. Let's okay. cut our hat in half first. We're going to make a baby one now. So, oh, okay. hi, Rhonda. How are you, my friend? Let's see. Uh, who else is watching? It's going by so fast. Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. So, all you're going to do with your straw hat is you are just going to cut it in half. Because, because we're going to save the other half of this and the other half of the baby one to make scarecrow gnomes. Oh. We're not, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet uh, with fall crafting. I've been telling you guys on my lives all week that I'm trying to get rid of all of my summer stash. What do you use for the base to wrap the hat around? Okay, nothing. We just wrap the hat around itself. So I will show you that. Um, this is a pretty color. This is a pretty color, but we're trying to get rid of all of our summer crafting stash so we can move on to fall. But I'm saving saving these two. So see, you're going to get two gnomes from one, one straw hat if right. you do it that way. Right. Um, saving them for fall to make. Look how, look how cute for a scarecrow. 
Oh, for a oh, scarecrow. Don't do that. How's yep, that? and we'll use some raffia for his beard, or if you have a hula skirt. Uh, if you, if your Dollar Tree still has any of the hula skirts, you woo! might want to. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> <Aloha>. <laughs> Okay, um, <laughs> Judy says she loves watching uh, me and Grandma Jean. Thank you, Judy. <laughs> Thank you for continuing for to watch us after I sang the other day and now Grandma Jean just sang for you. We know we... <laughs> Thank we, you for putting up with us. <laughs> oh, let's see, Marissa says, cannot wait for the Scarecrow Gnomes, right? Uh -huh. Absolutely cute. I'm just not there yet, maybe like in a week or two. But if you have a, a grass skirt, keep it handy. If your Dollar Tree still has a grass skirt, Grab it because you can get quite a few gnomes out of this. I guess so. And or raffia would work. So that's why we are going to save, hang on to two halves of our uh, hats, straw hats, so we can make a large scarecrow and a small scarecrow. So then your money goes twice as, fa as far. It does. It does. Oh, great. So what we used for the beard today. Oh, Eliza says, okay, now cool. She sees. Yep. So what we used for today's beard on this, this cutie here, he's got a nice fuzzy beard. What we used was the, um, hmm, what are they calling it? Oh, look at it. it doesn't have, oh, the uh, microfiber, the microfiber dust cloth from Dollar Tree. Microfiber dust cloth from Dollar Tree. Jane says, Grandma Jean is so awesome. God bless her heart. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And if you're noticing, Grandma Jean has her new her new chair to sit on today. Oh, yeah. She was complaining during <laughs> the live the other day that her chair was not good enough and she needed Whoa. a she needed a better chair. So we found her one. We got her one. <laughs> Thank you. So this white chamois from the Dollar Tree is in the automotive section, I believe. Or, I mean, maybe it's with mops in your store. Hi, Anne-Marie Lavallo. How are you? Did you? Are they all, excuse me, are they all white? They're all white. I dyed oh, that one. Oh. I tried to dye it, and then the rain did a little number on oh, it. Oh, but... that came out pretty, though. What did you use? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Boy, you are full of questions today. <laughs> I can only talk so fast. Well, I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Let's see. Oh, Darla says, Grandma Jean deserves the best seat in the house. Yes, yes you thank do. Thank you very much. Okay. White micro microfiber cloth from the Dollar Tree. And you could leave it white. They turn out really, really sweet. If you leave it white and you want the cute white fuzzy beard, they, they, they turn out really sweet. Only thing is, if you do cut these apart, very messy. The The... Fiber flies all over the place. So just don't get too creative when you're cutting them apart or you will have a mess all over the place. Oh, Linda. Linda loves Grandma Jean. Um, <laughs> so, okay, instead of leaving it white, though, I wanted to get a little artistic. I'm new here and totally love your gnomes. Oh, Rebecca. Welcome, welcome. to Gnome in the Backyard. Yes. Um, I want to try something different and be like artsy fartsy today on a Friday. So I decided to uh, dye it with some food coloring. Now I do have you. It would work much better if you had um, the Ritz, the Ritz dye, the, the clothing dye, which I have. I have about ten different colors of, but I can't find. I I put it away, and I cannot remember for the life of me. Where it came out pretty. It did, it did. Yeah, I cannot I remember where I put my Ritz dye. So I just grabbed some food coloring and a bucket, and I placed this into the food coloring. And it did, you can see... Oh, Mr. Fred, we really got to keep working on this lighting. We got to keep working. I guess oh, that came out nice. They, they can you can see, see the difference. Yeah. Let me put it by you. You can <laughs> see the difference. I wanted a pale yellow... And that is what I got. I did see the glare. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh I they did. love my cucumber salad. My oh, cucumber well, salad. Well, you know what? We're going to have to ask them which recipe. Oh, look at all the hearts. Those are, those are clapping hands. Oh. <laughs> all right. Um, and I don't know who that was from. That was from Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Brenda Ryder. How are you? Um, hello, Christine Romeo. So you can see it. 
it's a pale yellow. And that, that was what I was going for was a pale yellow. But what I, what happened, um, hi, Jessica, my friend from steel drums. How are you? Um, let's see, I can see the yellow Linda. Okay, good. I, again, the lighting and it's very pale, but you can see it, it is yellow. What happened was, um, I soaked it in my food coloring and it did do you use coffee to stain? I, I have not tried that yet. I heard all about it. My wonderful friend Sherry uses that, and I'm going to try and do that one of these days. But what happened to mine today was I soaked it in water and yellow food coloring. And, um, oh, someone loves our puppy tutorial. Thank you. Um, we are dog lovers here. Uh, and it, it came out nice, and then I left it out in the sun to dry. So I had it like out in the sun drying and I was all happy about that. And then it poured, poured rain. And so that's why I think some of the color, it didn't get to really dry fully and some of the color came off. Um, someone there, let's see, Marcy uh, loved, Marcy, Marcy or Marcy's girlfriend loved your cucumber tuna salad. Okay. So, Thank okay, you. let's get crafting, Grandma. Well, yeah. So, I'm waiting. <laughs> okay. So all I'm going to do is run a lot of hot glue right across the... Tina loves our gnomes. Thank you, Tina. I'm go just going to run a lot of hot glue right across the top here where I cut it. You can see this is the finished end down here. This is the nice finished end. So that's what we're going to have is the bottom of our beard. It's finished off. This is the raggedy end. That See, you can just keep pulling it out if you wanted to. It's very messy when you cut it. But... Um, and Ginny can see the color. Okay, cool, good. I'm going to run some hot glue, and then I am just going to hot glue it right here to the inside of the brim of my hat. So, Grandma, can you see any of those comments? Oh, yes, not? I can. Okay. Oh, you have your glasses today. Oh, yes, I brought my glasses nice, uh, nice. today. Um, I'd like to say hello to uh, Shirley and Kathleen Sheridan from Rahway, New Jersey. That's a pretty name, Kathleen. It, it must be Irish, I suppose. Uh, like, you know, I will take you oh, home dear. again, <laughs> Kathleen. Okay, now let's see. Let, <laughs> what, what? Why are you laughing? Are you, you, because you are really happy today. You are <laughs> just so, so happy down today. With the sun. Is it because <laughs> it's Friday? <laughs> yes. TGIF? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank goodness it's Friday, <laughs> yes, right? Yes. Um, let's see. I think I saw ring lights in that little uh, target the other day. Maybe that will help with lighting. Thanks, Jess. <laughs> I, you know what? I have a ring light right now, and it's broken because it fell over probably two months ago when we were doing an outside live, and the wind knocked it over. Okay. But, yes, I need to reinvest in one. That's for sure. Um, I'm thinking you're just so happy because it's Friday. And Somebody normally said I'm cute. She is. She's cute. I'll give her that. She is cute. Um, <laughs> Thank you. So normally people say TGIF. Thank goodness it's Friday. Yes. But here at Noman Backyard, we say TGIFG. TGIFG. Thank goodness it's Gnome Friday. No, TGIGF. Thank goodness it's Gnome, Gnome Friday. Friday. Oh, TGIGF. Okay. Thank, okay. TG, thank goodness it's <laughs> Gnome Friday. That's what we say oh, yeah. here. Okay. So... All I did, you guys, was hot glue, um, furry side out, and I glued it up here because I glued it, like, right above the rim on the inside, and if any of the glue happened to come through, because this does have some um, little holes in it, there is mesh there, I'm going to put a ribbon around it so you're not going to see the hot glue if it does come through. So that's all we did for starters, all right? And now, next thing I'm going to do is just fold my hat in half like this. I'm going to run a bead of hot glue all the way up here and then just cross it over on each other, hot glue it, and we have like the cutest little hat. Oh, it's like a baby. Uh, this no. is a baby to this mommy. This, oh, here's the, okay. this is you, the mommy, oh, and this is me, the baby. Oh, okay. I know I'm a big baby, but... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a big mommy. <laughs> okay, so while I'm doing this, Grandma Jean, why yeah. do, oh, Eliza says, I think Grandma Jean is adorable. Missed you, Grandma Jean, yesterday, Karen. Karen, okay, so yesterday, 
Karen missed us yesterday because I had announced to everyone I was hoping that we would be doing like a live every oh, day this week. Oh, to, I see. And life happened yesterday, Karen, and um, I was so busy dealing with um, Getting financial aid. Water. No, well, uh -huh. we did clean Grandma Jean's garage out for about two hours yesterday, but uh, getting financial aid papers in order for my daughter for college. And that was just so frustrating and aggravating that uh, we just, I could not, you need one of those little vacuums that Sherry, I know Diane Jones, 100%, I need one of those. Sherry's going on vacation tomorrow. I might just go up her house and steal hers. <laughs> Shh, don't tell her. I mean borrow, I mean borrow. I might just borrow her. <laughs> Shh, don't tell her. Lee, you are so blessed to have your mother. I'm blessed to watch. Oh, thank you. I think that was Mary, my friend Mary. I, thank you. I am. We're both blessed. Oh, we are. Definitely. We're both blessed. And we're blessed to have so many awesome followers. Absolutely. I, I agree 100% on that. Debbie Wilson Mullins mentioned that Grandma Jean has a beautiful smile. Oh, thank you. Okay, so that's all, you guys. I put oh. this little clip on the bottom just to hold it for right now. That's all. And I might as well do this now while we're here, which I could have done it earlier. I just have rope, you know, tied into a knot. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on it, um, pop it right into the top, and squeeze it shut so that we have someone to uh, a way to hang it. Cindy where, uh, said, where did you get your glue gun? Cindy... Um, if you go on my website, which is www.gnomeandbackyard, but you have to spell out the word and.com, gnomeandbackyard.com, it is listed in my recommended products section. Um, so I got it on Amazon. So if you just click the link, it'll take you to Amazon. Um, and if anybody else, since we're talking about the website right now, I'll just mention if anyone is looking for any of Grandma Jean's um, oh, somebody just mentioned my shirt too. If, if anybody's looking for any of Grandma Jean's recipes written out uh, so that you can just either print a copy so you have it, instructions and ingredients, that is also on our website under our blog posts. And Grandma Jean has her own little section called In the Kitchen with Grandma Jean. <laughs> I want to say there's five or six recipes up there. But we're going to let the folks vote on which recipe they want you to do next. Oh. Surprise! I didn't oh, tell you, you but did. surprise. Oh, oh, um, and then someone actually did just mention my shirt, and that was Eliza and someone else. And the shirts are also on the stand website. So under, she sure. always used to say to me, stand up straight. Stand <laughs> up tall and straight when I was little. And then she'd just give me a little love pat on the back <laughs> so that I would stand up straight. So Well, they have to see it. So the shirts, the sweatshirts, um, and some other home decor things are on the website also. So gnomeandbackyard.com, but spell out the word and. Okay, so while I'm putting this little hanger on the top, Grandma Jean. Oh, dear. Oh, uh, we're going to vote on what recipe maybe for you to do next. Oh. When, when you and I were talking yesterday, we okay. thought maybe, we thought maybe, um, oh, what were we saying? Oh, potato pancakes. Okay. We thought, because it's summertime, potato pancakes. Yes, yes. Or what else were we talking about? Uh, were we talking about we, the we mock were... uh, pierogies? Okay. Uh, mock pierogies, so wannabe. Wannabe pierogies? Yeah, wannabe pierogies. Wannabe pierogies. pierogies. Okay, it's like a pierogi casserole. Yes, that's what it is, exactly. So pierogi casserole or... Potato pancakes. Potato pancakes or... What about stuffed peppers? Oh, the what? Stuffed peppers. Okay. Okay, or stuffed peppers. We're giving you three choices. Um, if you did borrow Sherry's, her tabletop vacuum, you could return vacuum after you turn it into a dome. <laughs> Kim, yes. Kim, I love you. Ah, yes. That was great. Fabulous, fabulous idea, Kim. Yeah. Now, see, you know me. You know me oh too well, Kim. But then she'd, she'd know that, uh, that Lee had borrowed her tabletop vacuum. Okay, so... All I did, I just hot glued my little rope into the top of my hat um, for it to hang. And somebody says pierogi. Go ahead. I'll. I'll, I'll well, try we'll to... go back and look. Oh, okay. We'll go back and look at all the. Let's see. I oh, love okay. gnomes. 
gnomes that have the oh, 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 shirts on. Oh, the three gnomes. I think somebody said about something about naming the three gnomes. So, okay, here we go. The lighting again. So here we go. We have our hat. We have our fuzzy beard. And all we need is to, like, deck this up a little bit. So I think I will use, because it's smaller than the bigger gnome, I do think I will use one of my wooden beads. I hope somebody voted for potato pancakes. <laughs> yes. Janet says, Hello, oh, it's a hard ladies. choice. We love all three. Josie says, pierogi casserole, please. Hi, Ruby Moss. How are you? Uh, uh, Darla. Hello, Darla. We know you well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Darla. Julie says, pierogi casserole. Maria wants the potato pancakes. Eventually, we're you know, we're going to sweet talk her into making all three. Well, we will um, eventually. Oh, pierogi is my vote. Oh, sh Oh, Sherry, how about one each week? Sherry, you are on here. I didn't realize you were on here. And hopefully you did not just hear us talking about me <laughs> borrowing your handheld um, desk vacuum while you're on vacation. Hopefully you didn't hear any of that conversation, Cher. Okay, so I'm going to use a wooden bead. And I'm just going to glue it underneath the brim of the hat right there, right to the brim, though. Oh, uh, Stuffed peppers. Ooh, Annette, stuffed peppers. <clears throat> Tammy, what is pierogi? Ooh, can you explain what uh, pierogi is? Uh, uh, Sorry. Per pierogi, um, it's a Polish dish. And actually what a pierogi is, you make a dough, <clears throat> and you, you take and you roll it out, and you stuff it. You stuff it with either potatoes and cheese, or you could put sauerkraut in there. And then you just wrap it over, and I never. I don't, I don't like them have, with sauerkraut. I only like them with potato. Well, I and cheese. <laughs> I don't have good luck with uh, dough. So that's a long story, believe me. But this is a casserole, a make-believe pierogi. It's not going to be the actual pierogi rolled out and stuffed. It's going to be a mixture. Um, and it's easier and oh, quicker. It, oh, it's much easier, yeah. much quicker. It very, it, it doesn't take long at all. Liz King says pierogi casserole. Deborah, I can't remember, said pierogi casserole. <laughs> Melissa says anything will be great. <laughs> yeah, the gnome I, you made the other day with the beach hat and mop. I did it with a crown royale bag instead of a beach. Yeah, I mean, of course, you could use anything. Ooh, that, that sounds nice. That oh, sounds really cute. Yeah. So all I did, you guys, was hot glue his little nose. I'm trying with this lighting. His little nose, his little wooden nose, just glued it to the inside of the hat. And then I did put a little bit of glue underneath the nose and pushed the beard up next to it so it's nice and, it's nice and firm. It's nice and secure. Uh, Why do you complain about the lighting? I can see good. I, they get too much of a, a white reflection, I feel, oh, but I could oh, be. Oh, I see. I could be wrong. It might just be. Oh. Oh. Okay, you, let's see, Graham. You keep talking, and I'm going to deck out this cutie's hat a little bit. I hope you don't have any more surprises for me. I mean, <laughs> really? Uh, yes, we will get around to making different things throughout um, as long as you're going to watch. We would be, be making different recipes from... Pat, Mar here. Pat Barnes says pierogi casserole. Oh, well, you know what? It's different, and it is it is so tasty, and it's fast. Uh, it doesn't take time at all. You can make all the ingredients almost at the same time, and it doesn't make a mess. Uh, making the regular pierogies are delicious. I love them. I really do. When I go to a picnic, I usually get them, or a church uh, gathering if they have uh, pierogies. I always order them, or potato pancakes. I love potato pancakes. Yeah. They're a little bit of work also, but uh, eventually we'll get around to something here today. We have to give him a sunflower since his ribbon oh, has sunflower. Oh, absolutely. Oh, sunflower. Oh, my sunflowers are doing beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. I should say our sunflowers out in the yard are doing beautiful. Those are some um, Black Eyed Susans, too. 
Aren't oh, they black-eyed Susans? I meant black-eyed Susans. I, I'm sorry, not sunflowers, black-eyed Susans. Oh, so you could put, cute. yeah, and you could, of course, 100% put your flower anywhere you want. Um, let's see, Susan, I love the way you say per, per, pierogi. Susan, do we have an accent? People tell us we have an accent. Um, yeah, I, is it per, per, pierogi? Pierogi? Uh, I, I don't know, but, pierogi? but one day I was at a, a doctor's office and he said, Oh, where are you from? And I said, Here. And he says, Oh, no, you have an accent. I said, Oh, no, I don't. I don't know why people think we have an accent. Maybe we don't realize it. I don't even know what kind it is. Um, Tammy Powell says, I vote for the casserole. I'm in Tennessee, and my folks will think I had been out of the country. <laughs> <laughs> let's trick your folks. Definitely let's trick your folks, Kathy. <laughs> That's funny. Let me see. Gina Pride, that is too adorably, uh, so adorably oh, cute. Thank I you, my friend them. Gina. Thank you. Um, I, I think I'm going to just leave his, ha his flower right there. I mean, you yeah. can put the flower down here on the brim. You can put the flower there. Put and it matches so pretty. Oh, oh look at oh. We got the mommy. We got the mommy and the baby. Oh, that is so cute. Right? Too cute. I love them. Too cute. But yeah, let me hot glue the flower on because I think it looks good up there instead of. Yeah, no, I, I like it up a little bit further like you, like you had it maybe. Yeah. Because yeah, he, yeah you big. don't want to take away from it's his uh, little nose. <clears throat> my hubby, Pat Barnes, says, my hubby needs some new recipes to try out. Yeah, Pat, <laughs> awesome. Get your oh, hubby right great. on that. Get your hubby right on that. Um, the one that's popular right now is Grandma Jean's uh, cucumber tuna, tuna fish salad cucumber yeah. tuna salad that is the one that is extremely popular right now she's going viral with her um cucumber tuna fish salad so if you want to check that video out if you just go onto my page and even if you just type in uh cucumber tuna fish she should pop up but i think that video we put up maybe a week or two ago probably so you should be able to find it but everybody is loving it because they said they never tried cucumbers in their tuna salad before so everybody is loving it kim hoffman love the gnomes too cute oh thank you kim i think it came out really cute oh i think they are adorable in fact uh they can challenge the bucket hat oh really I mean, they're challenging the bucket hat sure so this is one we did the other day well, he's and we used too. a really cute bucket hat and what we used for this guy's fur, in case you did not see that video, is we just used a Dollar Tree mop head. They come just like this, no, no pole attachment, just like this for a dollar. Oh, somebody just asked if you're sitting on a chair. Are you sitting on a comfortable chair, Karen? Dave wants to know. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yes, we took care of the boss the other day when she complained <laughs> about her chair. We got her a new one. So Dollar Tree mop head and a dollar bucket hat. So that's why his beard looks different. That's what we used for this. And then we just um, unraveled all of the strands. So this is one version. And then this cutie here, in case you're just coming on, we used the uh, chamois from the Dollar Tree. And I think this one's in the automotive section. But we just used the chamois. But I wanted a little bit of a different color to it so you can see I lightly dyed it yellow but like how cool we could dye these any color we could dye these green for Christmas and St. Patrick's Day and, oh definitely for St. Patrick's Day yeah. um we could you know dye them orange orange for fall Burr, yes. we could dye them brown we could coffee stain them uh, my friend Sherry the crafty decorator has to teach me how to coffee stain so uh Mary uh Carnduff. Mary Carnduff says these are nice to hang on the door. They are. They're really nice to hang on the door. I even hang some of mine outside on my covered front porch. Um, and I just, I have something, I hang them down on my covered front porch and it looks really cute. Couldn't find the bucket hat, so I did a smaller version with a lemon pattern pot holder. Turned out cute. Awesome. Awesome. Great idea. Well, that's a good I love idea. it. Yes, I love it. Yes. I will do these with my grandkids. I have smaller straw hats like that too. Yes, Julie. Oh, that's great. They love it. And 
I even go to the Goodwill and especially in the children's department, I buy the little beanies, like the little um, the little baby beanies and the crocheted beanies. I'm going to have to find them, pull them out and show you guys. I got the cutest one that's a reindeer. It actually has like antlers on it and a red nose. I've got one that's a ghost. Uh, I bought these last year, but I'm going to use them. What did Sherry say? I will teach you. Thank you, Sherry. Um, but I use, I use them as hats on gnomes. Oh my gosh, too funny, too cute. So keep your eyes open when you're shopping everywhere. Oh, hello, Char, my friend. You're so talented, Lee. I'm so not crafty. Char, you're so cool, though. Like You're, you're like one of the coolest people I know. So cool, crafty, coolness, you, you got it in coolness, hands down. Um, Cindy Swafford says, I love them. Thank you, Cindy. But yeah, so this is today's version. Oh, I love and them. They're we just, huge. We wanted to give you a different, uh, different beard option and a different hat option because we never want anybody to be disappointed. Uh, Jeanette says, love them. Even my granddaughter loves them too. Awesome. Awesome. They're so cute for a little girl's room. Um, so you know what? We, we can solve another we can solve another one of your problems here today. Um, the other day, <clears throat> we did a live with these beautiful vases. Let's see here. With these beautiful vases and heads from the Dollar Tree. Christina Sanchez. Love them as usual. Thank you, Christina. So, let's see. The vase. This is what the vase looks like. In case you... Gnome possibilities are endless. Yes, they are. Will you do more sharing with hats and shirts, please? Yes, we will. Um, alive the other day, where did you find the hats for today's live? At the Dollar Tree. Straw hats at the Dollar Tree. Um, vase and this little head planter, from both from the Dollar Tree. We did a live with them the other day and made these adorable, adorable, uh, I call it centerpieces. We call them little ladies. <clears throat> we made about four of them. We made a witch. We made a really cute one uh, that I said looks like Medusa because she's yeah. got the crazy yeah, hair did. coming down. We made uh, an, an angel one. Yeah, well, we that made was this one. Pretty. But you can, you can actually so easily switch them out, right? Switch them out put something else in. So if you didn't, I posted a picture of them yesterday. Go back and check that out. But many of you did get to go to your Dollar Tree. You said you ran out the door and you did find the heads, which is awesome. I love it. Oh, Sherry, thank you. I love the lady. Thank you. Oh, Sherry, go check yesterday's picture of all four. Loving them. And the witch is like so cute. Oh, uh, we'll have to find the lives for those. Yeah, find them. This should be easy to find because we really just posted them. Um, so a lot of you found the, the heads, which is awesome. And a lot of you found the vases, which is awesome. But I did mention that if you couldn't find the head, we were going to try and do something else. And some followers said maybe like an egg cup. 100% agree. What I found, so of course I ran out yesterday because I didn't want anybody to be disappointed. What I found were these, and I'm trying to hide what I already did to it. Yeah. I found these little um, uh, candle holders at the Dollar Tree, okay? It is bigger, it is bigger than the face we have, but it will still work. Now, it was... It was clear. It, it wasn't clear, actually. It was... Uh, like smoky glass. Oh well, yeah. Like, but okay, but it's a glass. It was a glass color. So what I did was I painted it on the inside. I took my chalk paint and I used what color did we use? We used the plaster. We used the Waverly plaster chalk paint because I like it. It's thicker. It sets nice. I like the color plaster. Because it was the closest I could find, and you're going to see the face eventually, there we go. It was the closest I could find to matching the color of, of this little girl here. So, yes, you could leave it clear, but then I was afraid you wouldn't see the face details that we painted on the outside. So, 
If you cannot find these little girls at the Dollar Tree that is actually a plant holder, you might be able to find this candle holder that comes like a clear, oh God, what do they call it? Um, a clear, anyway, it's, it's like a clear color. I painted the inside. I used Waverly plaster chalk paint on the inside. And then I asked my daughter, who is more of an artist than I am, to please um, put a cute little face on it for me. So she painted oh, she this. She did a nice She job. painted this cute little face on it for me. And then I said, well, you know what? Let's be creative. And could you paint a different face on the other side? Oh. Because when you glue... When you glue this on, so what you're going to do then is use your E6000 glue. Take your sticker off, of course. Use your E6000 glue on the base. And this fits on, really fits on just about the same as this one does. And yes, it's a little bit bigger, but I still think it looks really, really sweet. It does. I think it looks really, really sweet. I didn't want to glue it on yet because I wanted to show it to you guys. So how... Like, cute is that? Oh, that right? That, and I'm looking at it at this side, and, you, and she has well, a face that's, on so, both sides. Right, so my thought process was, um, you know, put a cute little face on this side. And we're not gluing our flowers in so that um, that would make a good angel face. Yes, Sherry, it would. Um, we're not gluing our flowers in so that we can change them out. You know, so for the seasons, you could you could change your flowers out. This might be a little bit, but you get the idea, right? But then also the fact that maybe, and Sherry, what I was thinking, I wasn't thinking an angel. I was thinking like a caroler for the holidays. So uh, that's good, Lee, to put more options. Yes, thank you, Karen. So all you would do is you could turn your girl around. I don't want her head to fall off here because I didn't glue it on. You turn your yeah. little girl around and she has two different expressions yeah and oh, i thought cool. that this is like cute for like a caroler um for christmas time and maybe we could put some greenery uh coming out of her uh her the top of her what else for christmas like oh christmas no I'm oh well what else is christmas um oh, i'm holly having or something. a little pine co holly that's what i was thinking of some holly whatever we could even put just a cute little hat on her we could put some Spanish moss and a little caroler's hat. But so that's why if you and you could actually do it, you could actually do it with this little girl, too. If you wanted to put your own face on this one, 100 um, percent, you could change it up so that you could switch it around. So I just thought that was so cute. So this is another another option. It's a candle holder. It came clear crystal. I painted the inside. It was from Dollar Tree again, just in case you can't find this cutie at the Dollar Tree. So, and you might find a different one, but I just, the shape was so it is, similar it's very pretty. and it fit on top of her. It's a little bit bigger, a little bigger, yeah. but it fit on top of her still looks absolutely, absolutely adorable. Too cute. I don't know which face I like better. Too cute, too right, cute. There too she has cute. a little. I, I like both. I of like them. the pink They're, lips, but yeah. I do too. Oh, that is so cute. Now, what my daughter used to put the faces on? <clears throat> she has Posca paint pens, and let's see, what did you use to make the faces? Huh, Cindy? Read in your mind. My daughter used her Posca paint pens. Christina Lanigan says, "I love her." Christina, go back to two days ago live video and you will see like we there were so many options I showed everybody. It was really cool. So check out the live video. Love the caroler face too. Your daughter did a great job. Yes, Love the two did. different faces. Yeah. Oh, I know Sherry, it's storming again. I know. I can't oh. stand it. Um Posca paint pens. I did get these on Amazon. Um we we use these only because we we um do the rocks we do we're in a kindness rocks group and so we paint rocks and seal them and then you hide them at local parks and, and places for others to find and it's just a really nice nice little kindness rocks project kindness kindness 
movement project. So that's why she used her Posca paint pens because we knew they would stay. And then you could, <clears throat> you could seal it with Mod Podge or you could just spray seal it so that your faces stay intact. I'm wondering if a Sharpie would work. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if a Sharpie would work. Mm -hmm. It might, and then <clears throat> maybe you could spray seal it. I don't know if a Sharpie would work. Regular paint would actually work too, but you, you would want to seal it. You want to just spray seal it. Um, I mean, she is staying inside, and we're not putting water in her. Now, we did tell them yesterday, though, that you could put you could put live plants in here, but not with this one because we painted the inside. But yeah. you could put live plants in this one and then just empty your water out. But let's see. We'll read a few more comments. Uh, seems like every day for two weeks now, Cindy, with the rain. I know, in South Alabama. I'm so, so over it. Let's see. Who else do we have here? Hi, Marie. Hi, Pamela. Pamela Diffin, how are you? And Marie Danforth. Hi guys. So we, let's see, what spray sealant do you recommend? Oh, I would have to go grab it and see. Grandma Jean, talk to the people for a second. <laughs> talk to them. I'm, not, I'm not too good Tell at them, this. Um, uh, what else there are times that I have, a, have too much to say and then there are times when, you know, you're just caught and you don't have anything to add to what she does here. It's amazing. I, I, I'm just, I'm just amazed at what my daughter can make. Oh, okay, out. enough, enough. Stop. Now we're having fun. Oh, now. oh okay. <laughs> okay, this is what I use. I use uh, Rust-Oleum Painters Touch Two Times Ultra Cover Clear Matte Seals Protects and Revitalizes Wood, Metal, Plastic, Glass, Non Yellowing, Fast Drying, UV Resistant. Just show it um, to so, okay. <laughs> I tried Sharpie on rock, then tried sealing it with, with seal, and it ran. Yeah, I know the Sharpies don't work on the rocks, to my knowledge. I, I agree with you. Some it colors... It might not work on this. Vicki says, how are you, Grandma Jean? But Fine. this is the sealer that I use. Sherry, if you're still watching, what sealer do you use? Because I know you seal most of your pro uh, projects. You seal a lot of your projects. So... Could you give a shout out to what sealer you use, Sherry from the Crafty Decorator, if you're still on? Okay, Pamela is voting for the casserole uh, for sure. Let's see, Cindy says thank you. Um, you are a proud mom, Grandma Jean. Uh, Becky, Becky Demon, Demon. You, is, yes, yes. We're both proud mamas. Oh yeah. I just know mine and is going to be a proud grandmother too. <laughs> a very proud grandmother. I just know my daughter is. Oh, Sherry says that is what I use. Okay. Well, then, folks, if the crafty decorator recommends this and I recommend it, <laughs> you can't go wrong, right? Just say it. No, I'm teasing you guys. Let's see. Marissa said, Grandma Jean, what is your favorite craft to do? The angels. You the like angels. to make angels. Yes, because it seems everybody loves an angel. And they're all, you know, they're just so adorable. I like the angels. So we need to maybe find some more ways to make some angels. Well, probably. Okay. I mean, you never have enough of angels watching over. No, you over. always need Everybody an angel watching. Everybody needs an angel. Yes, that's 100% sure. Thank you so much, you guys, for all the hearts. Oh, Cindy Marie Williams wants potato pancakes. I don't know which one I'm voting for first. We'll have to see. All right, everybody, thank you so much for uh, joining in with us live today. And I'm not sure what the weekend is going to bring for both of us. So we'll have to see what craft comes up next. Holiday Angel Gnomes, Beverly, yes, that would be so, so nice. I, again, I am just trying to um, oh, hear that thunder. Excuse me. I am trying to go through a lot more of my summer craft stash. Get it, get it out of the way. Holiday and angel gnomes. Yep, hundred um, percent. So that's why 
We're still doing some spring crafts, but I, I like these. I mean, it's only the middle of July. You could still put yeah. these up for for home decor. Plus, you could still give them as gifts. Maybe there's a birthday coming up. Maybe there's a housewarming coming up. Like, how cute would these be hanging on, oh, somebody's, that would be hanging on somebody's front door? Yes, yes. Uh, Cindy says, love you both, bunches. Thank you so much. Marissa says she loves the angels, too, Grandma Jean. Oh, thank she you. She loves the angels, too. All right, everybody, stay safe, stay dry if you're in a rainy area. Uh -huh. Let's see, they can certainly transition into the fall. Right, definitely, Beverly. Um, and what we're going to do if you, if you do find a straw hat, cut it in half. If you want to make one for now, um, what about an angel gnome, Robin says, definitely, because we found wings yesterday when we were cleaning out your garage. Yes, Remember yes. you said, what are these? I said, oh, those are wings. Okay. Like, save them for my gnomes. Those are wings. But, yeah, we want to do, um, Tanya says, I love your crafts. Thank you, Tanya. We want to do, and Pat is with you, Grandma Jean. She loves angels. We want to do scarecrows. I thought these would be cool hats for scarecrows. I'm truly excited for fall, Cindy is. Cindy, I'm excited for fall, too, because I love all the colors. I, I'm just not ready to craft it 100% yet, but we're working on it. But, yeah, these would look really cool for scarecrow hats with the fall leaves. Um, hello, just jumped on. I will need to watch replay. Very cute. Love this. I didn't see who that was. That was Gloria. Gloria, yep. Watch the replay. This is what we did today, Gloria, because some followers mentioned that they could not find... The bucket hats when we made these guys the other day so we wanted to help them out and show them how they could make it with a different hat we even used a different beard and then we also gave them a different option because they had mentioned that they could not find the faces or the vases um don't go guys i'm sorry but we do have to go we've got work to do um they couldn't find the faces or the vases some folks did find them but if you couldn't find the face we found a candle holder, and then we just painted our own face on, and it works just the same. So, really cute. Or use Crown Royale bags. Yes, Julie. I mean, seriously, you could, you could make a hat out of anything. And, and I'm leaving you on this note. I will not say any more, but when I say you can make a hat out of anything... This is a toy from the Dollar Tree. It's a little pizza stuffed animal. Oh, and sake. guess what I'm going to do with it? I have no idea. <laughs> yes, I, you I, do. I, I, I mean, and look at how cute. The back is all brown. So I'm 110% seeing a gnome hat out of this. So whoever mentioned you could, you could use a, make a hat out of anything. Could I ask you a question? Sure. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> when you go to sleep at night, oh. what do you dream of? I mean, do you ever dream of gnomes? I honestly, really? no, no. But I honestly have the same sleeping problems as you. I don't sleep. Oh, okay. I'm up at 2 in the morning. I'm up at 4 in the morning. Oh, I can't okay. sleep. My mind races. Okay. But I don't know what it's racing to oh, or we racing bypass for it. We, or what we, it. We bypass each other on our way we, we sneaking do. to the kitchen for a snack, do we? I don't sleep at all. Oh, so, okay. Um, but yeah, and this one too. I have to show them. A little hot pepper and a little <laughs> pizza slice from the Dollar Tree. Stuffed plush. I don't drink, but my son is a cook and bartender at a bar and grill. Oh, I don't drink either, but, um, yeah, you can make a hat out of anything. So we're going to actually use these as gnome hats when we find the time. Oh, of course. All right, guys, thank you so much. I don't want to keep you any longer. Oh, hello, Olga from Florida. How are you? So glad to see you. Um, everybody, please have a fabulous rest of the day. Oh, Karen, you don't sleep either. It's terrible. You know what? Let me throw this out there. I hate not sleeping. Maxine says, if anybody has any ideas or good remedies or can share what you do to get a good night's sleep. Because see the little bags under my eyes, but you know it's just <laughs> light. Oh, <laughs> it's just yeah. darn lighting it's too. We got <laughs> we got to fix the lighting it's because not the, it's not the bags, um, it's the rain. It's it's the lighting. Um, yeah, if anybody has any remedies, what helps you sleep? I can fall asleep, but I can't stay asleep. So I don't need help falling asleep. I can fall asleep just fine. Um, oh, Sharon, I'm sorry that you cannot sleep because of the pain. I'm sorry. Oh, that makes me sad. 
Um, glad to see you, Grandma Jean, says Donna. Hi. Uh, uh, let's have melatonin or Benadryl. I know, Beverly. I just, I hate to, to take too, too much stuff. But um, yeah, send me your ideas and thoughts how to sleep through the night. Another problem might be that my husband snores and that's what wakes me up. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, and I could say that because he's not home right now. But um, it, that could be another problem. He snores, uh, and. Um, yeah, so I think I wake up, and then I can't fall back to sleep. So Diane Jones says, that's me, absolutely. I know, it's terrible, you guys. Karen's brain races, too. I know. I'm opposite, can't fall asleep, says Sharon Nichols. And I don't know, I'm, I lay there in bed, and, like, I sing a song in my head. Is that weird? No. Like a song. No. I don't know if it's a song. I, I heard Sleepy Time Tea. Ooh, maybe, Pat. Maybe. But hi, Liz. How are you? Liz, if you're just jumping on, watch the replay. We did some, we did a cute craft today and we redid two other crafts from our lives. We got a lot in today, Liz. So watch the replay if you're just jumping on now. Um, but yeah, like I'll catch myself laying there and this song just plays over and over in my head. And okay, everybody, have a great weekend. Stay safe. Stay in the sunshine if you can. Um, anything else, Grandma? Oh, yes. Don't forget me. I always have to have something yeah. to say. I always let my mom have the last word. <laughs> thank you. you. Yeah, that's the polite and proper thing to do. Always well, let thank your mom. thank you very much. And even I, though you're 54 and your mom's 91, you always let your mom have the last word. <laughs> oh, um, I, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, no, somebody I, moved I, their I, hubby to the guest room. Oh, Christy, <laughs> like, I love that. I really love that. And right now we don't have a guest room. We have my daughter, and then my daughter has a second room, which is a study room for school. And so we don't have a guest room, but one day we will. Well, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. It was a lot of fun. Hope that you enjoyed it. And thank you for sprinkling Gnome in Backyard. And don't forget, sprinkle a little kindness along the way. Aww. And our friend Cheryl says she's in need of prayers right now, so our prayers go out to you, Cheryl. Oh, absolutely. Um, yes, and with the angels also, may they be watching over you. Aww. All right, everybody, thank you so much for continuing to support and sprinkle Noman Backyard. Bye, guys. Bye.